I'm going to show you how to calculate sample size based on both consumer and producer risk. So imagine that we have a typical uh, producer risk 0 0.05 and then typical um, consumer risk uh, beta is 0.1 and then alpha uh, beta is associated with this AQL uh, producer acceptable limit is let's say 0.9 and then um, consumer acceptable limit or rejectable quality is 7.8%. Uh, so to use this um, combined um, sample size calculation, first thing we have to calculate is the um, limiting quality divided by the um, average acceptable quality. That's the ratio we need to calculate. So here we got 8.7 divided by 0.9%. So that is calculated 8.667. Now this ratio is basically this ratio. Now we have to look at where this ratio lies. So between these two, this um, C1 and C2, that's where these two ratio lies. Now we have to calculate now sample size for using C1 and then C2. Now there are four uh, different types of uh, sample size. So we have to calculate both uh, for C1 and C2. Now this four situations are used to kind of decide which sampling plan to use. Now to get the sample size from the consumer risk, uh, so this is the consumer risk equations, what you have to do is just find out the C value. So consumer risk, C equal one, so this is the line we'll be looking at, that NP value. So that C value is 0.389. So that is, um, if you use that 3.89 divided by the um, uh, AQL, uh, sorry, that would be divided by the LQ, which is 7.89%, um, so 0 0.078. Um, so that would be equal to um, 50. Similarly, for C value 2, this um, NP value or that PA is 5.322 uh, divided by the um, LQ, which is 0 0.078. If you do that, that's going to be um, 68. Now, same thing for the uh, producer risk N. We're going to using we'll use this equation here. So for C value one, 95 percent uh, NP value is 3.3.355 divided by the AQL, which is 0 0.009 because it's 0 0.9 percent. If we do this, uh, we're going to get 39 here, and then for C value two, that NP value is 0.818 divided by 0 0.009 is equal to 91 sample size. Now, um, there are two criteria to use, um, which sample size to use based on these four plans. So this four plan is C value 1, sample size 50, C value 1, sample size 39. C value 2, sample size 68, C value 2, sample size 98. Out of these four situations, one of the situations can be used is um, just pick the minimum sample size, which is 39, and then C value 1. And then another would be the pick the maximum sample size, which is C value 2, uh, 91. Uh, that depends on a lot of other um, kind of compromise too. So now, this fourth criteria, so you can say this is criteria one, two, four, three, and then this is four. Now this third criteria is to match the um, consumer risk, beta and LQ, and then uh, find the um, 
So we're gonna say we will match this um, uh, consumer risk. So this uh, number one uh, column, we're gonna match that. But we'll see which one of this plan is closest to the producer risk. So we'll be using this sample sizes to calculate the um, AQL value for the producer risk. Now, uh, AQL value, as you can see, we can calculate from AQL is equal to PA divided by N. So then we have calculated. Now, PA we also have calculated. Let's see um, PA for the um, uh, producer is uh, 0.355. So 0.355 divided by the um, sample size 50 we have calculated now that will be 0 0.007 then aql here for c value 2 we can also calculate the aql c value 2 so it's gonna be this one 0.818 divided by 68 so that is equal to 0.012. Now we see which one is closest to the um, producer acceptable limit. Um, producer acceptable limit was 009. This one is 007. So it looks like uh, this one is closest. So uh, we will basically choose in that criteria this one uh, with 50 and then uh, C value 1. Now on this one closest to the co consumer we match the uh, match with the producer alpha M -A -T -C -H, match with the producer alpha and AQL and then we see which one is closest so basically we'll be working on this one so we decided that we're gonna match the producer risk perfectly and then see which one is closest to the um, uh, consumer so to calculate consumer acceptable limit lq we can use this third equation so lq is equal to p beta by n so p beta for c value one the p beta is point 3.89 so 3.89 so that is the value for c um, p beta divided by the sample size which is 39 and that would be equal to then 0.1 now lq using c equal to 2 that is 5.322 divided by n is calculated 68 would be equal to 0.058 so now we will have to look at which one which LQ is closest to our LQ the, the LQ was given was 7.8 percent or 0 0.078 so 0 0.078 closest to um, this uh, 0 0.058 so in this case we'll be selecting the sampling plan um, this one um, I think this should be 91 not 68 so 91 so we'll be selecting this so uh, for this sampling plan would be C2 and then uh, is uh, C equal to 2 and then N equal to 91 using this plan it's gonna be c equal 1 and then n equals 50 using the minimum sample size criteria we're gonna be using c equal to 2 um, sorry c equal to 1 n equals 39 using the maximum criteria we'll be using c equal to 2 n equals 91 so this is one option this is another option um, this is another option three 
this is another option four so there are actually four options we can uh, go for now it's not just easy to just say okay this is the best there's lots of trade-off in there how much money you got how many how many can you afford to inspect depends on a lot of other practical consideration this calculation process will give you um, the most appropriate whatever that condition you match with the practice uh, you could calculate by using this um, um, this procedure